Are you still thinking you need to achieve something big before you can write a book that will benefit a reader? If you think you have to do something big before you can be an author, this video is for you. Hey there, I'm Julie the Book Broad with Book Launchers. Your book could change someone's life, but are you the best person to write it? To answer that question, you need to get clear on what makes you unique and what you have to offer that is of unique value to others. Pull out a pen, and pad of paper. Go ahead. Oh, wait a second. Now, write down these questions and start brainstorming to answer each one. One, what outcome can you offer someone who reads your book? Two, what stories do you think you need to tell? Three, what common beliefs do you have in your industry that you don't believe? Four, what was one of your lowest moments? Or what was your biggest obstacle to achieving success in your work or personal life? Five, what has allowed you to succeed where others have failed? These important questions will help you define who you are and why you are the person to write your book. Defining yourself is essential to becoming the expert who stands out from the crowd and becomes well-known in your industry. Some of the most important lessons on becoming a successful author and building a great brand come from Hollywood. Take this one as an example. Brian Grazer is Hollywood elite. As of the start of 2018, his work had 131 Emmy Award nominations, 43 Academy Award nominations. He and his business partner, Ron Howard, have been behind some huge movies like Splash, Backdraft, Apollo 13, to name some of their early successes. His company was also behind Felicity, too bad she cut her hair, Arrested Development, 24, and many other hit TV shows. Ryan's work speaks for itself, doesn't it? Well, not entirely. In the mid 90s, as his star was starting to rise, he realized something important. He needed something that differentiated him as a producer. In an interview with author and investor, Tim Ferriss, he said, other successful producers had beards and facial hair, and they became known and recognizable because of that. I needed something of my own. Swimming in his pool with his young daughter one day, he spiked his hair and she loved it. And he looked in the mirror and he thought, yep, that's it. His hair has been spiked ever since. It's something that sets him apart and makes him easily recognizable. You don't need to spike your hair, but you do need to differentiate yourself. You need to be known for something special to establish your brand. Think about it. ZZ Top would be just another band without the beards. Lady Gaga wouldn't make so many headlines without her outrageous outfits. William Nye was just another scientist until he labeled himself Bill Nye the Science Guy. In a media interview, I was referred to as Julie the Book Broad. It was so fun, I decided to use it on the introduction to all my booklaunchers.tv YouTube videos. How do you want to be known in your marketplace? Now, if you're thinking you have to do X before you write your book, let me share something that has changed my approach in life and business. Be, do, have. This motto originated with the author and motivational speaker Zig Ziglar, but I learned it from renowned business entrepreneur Keith Cunningham. Be, do, have. That's the opposite of how most of us approach life. Most of us pursue our goals with the idea that if we have X, we will do Y and B, Z. For example, I thought when I have an MBA, I can do a job where I will make six figures and then I will be successful, have freedom and feel financially secure. It doesn't work that way. In fact, that line of thinking often takes you entirely in the wrong direction. No, stop, you're going the wrong way. So many people think they need to have the perfect story they have to have achieved the pinnacle of their success or some other huge milestone to write a book and become the known expert. You need to have material for your book, sure. But if you're waiting to have something before you do something so you can be someone, it's not gonna happen. The solution, figure out who you want to be first. The way Keith explained it to me was who you be dictates what you do and what you do dictates what you'll have. That's close to what I believe. I actually think it's more about connecting to who you actually are and letting yourself be that person. And that will dictate what you do and what you have. Most of us resist who we really are. We worry we won't be liked. For some of us, high school taught us to hide our opinions, dress like the most popular individuals, and not appear like we're trying too hard. With lessons like those that hit so hard early in life, it's no wonder we tend to hide our true selves and the thought of showing people who we really are when we write a book is terrifying, but it holds us back. The fact is, if you try to hide who you really are and what you think, you're gonna write a boring book.
the very thing that is going to make your book stand out and be amazing is you. It's very likely you have a great story inside you, but you need to believe it before anyone else can. Someone is going to become famous doing what you do, why not you? This is an excerpt from chapter three of my book, Self Publish and Succeed. If you liked this, you're going to love all the amazing tips and strategies inside the rest of the book, like the three T's for speedy book writing, how to care for and feed your ghostwriter, matching your goal to your book, and so much more. Get your copy and a special offer at selfpublishandsucceed.com. What have you thought you had to do before you could do and then be? Well, let's chat about it in the comments below. And when you comment the day a video is released, you'll get entered to win some fabulous book launcher swag like this hashtag no boring books mug and our upside down oh so soft journal. <laughs> and on your way to comment, please hit that thumbs up button because it feels so good. Do you wanna hang out some more? Okay, great. This video right here is one YouTube is certain you'll enjoy. And this one over here, is all about author fears that can stop you in your tracks and how to push them aside and crush it as an author. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. So go ahead, click away. I've got coffee and tea on for you.